Hello, I'm Dr. Priscilla, a native English speaker, and I live in the U.S. This is part two of the video that discusses and describes the ship is too big. If you have not watched the video that has the article, the ship is too big, look in the comment section below so that you can watch that video first. By watching that video first, you will better understand the dialogue that is here. Watch the article two or three times to familiarize yourself with the vocabulary words that are given. You will better understand the vocabulary words also by participating in the dialogue. In this dialogue of the ship is too big, I will first read as student A. You will read as student B. As I read student A, if I start to speak before you have finished what you're saying, then you will need to speed up your conversational portion. If there is a long pause in between when I say something and when you start to speak, you will need to be aware of when to start speaking and then listen for my voice. If that is not clear, leave comments in the section below and I will definitely respond to you. I will begin at the count of three. One, two, three. Did you see that super yacht yesterday on the news? Jeff Bezos? Audacious and rich. How so? What's the problem? The boat is already on the water. So what is the problem? But, I mean, the boat is in the water. So... Okay, go on. So what is the solution? I understand now why it would not be natural to consider restructuring the bridge to facilitate the whimsical desire of the rich because of his or her vast wealth. Great. Great practice there. Now, I will read as student B. You will start as student A. At the count of three, please start as student A. One, two, three. Yes, I did. I believe it belongs to the billionaire. What's his name? Yes, Jeff Bezos. Wow, he has some audacious nerve. Bezos has a huge challenge ahead of him. Well, to begin with, he has to get permission to have his yacht transported to him. Yes, it's in the water, but that's not the problem. The problem is that there is no precedent to facilitate the movement of a yacht this size. 
True. Nevertheless, for the boat to reach the ocean, it has to pass through Rotterdam. To go through Rotterdam, it is only natural that it will have to go under the Dehef Bridge. The bridge, the bridge's central span will need to be raised more than 40 meters into the air, and that isn't enough to make room for the yacht's three mile three giant masts. That, my friend, has not been determined yet. You see, the city council promised to adhere to the fact that the bridge is now designated as a historical site since the rebuilding in 2017. All right, thank you so much for the practice. Continue to practice this dialogue three, four, five, however many times that is necessary for you to feel confident and fluent in speaking. I'm Dr. Priscilla, a native English speaker. If you enjoyed this dialogue, please subscribe, like, and click the bell so that you will know when I upload new videos.